Hello and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I am answering a request that I got with a Q&A from the last video um, saying can you show how to use a programming card. So as you can see here, as you can see here, I've got a Toro programming card which comes with the motor and the SC that's in my FTX at the moment. Got some form of screwdriver and now we're just taking off all the screws for the receiver case. This is a key item in programming the ESC. So once you get all the, the receiver cables and all that out, the one you want is the receiver cable for the ESC here. Um, for those who don't know, I've got a 4370 brushless KV um, motor in here um, with ESC combo. It was by uh, Leopard RC. Um, I got the V2 version uh, motor and it is seriously quick. Um, especially if you have it not in a, like a transmission like this, but if you have it like a straightforward, normal, um, I can't see it here, but there's the, the original motor mount. If you had it in the original stock position, it would gun it quite quickly. Um, so, once you've got the cable for DSC, you plug in the actual programming card, and then you get the power cables. I yeah, I know I don't have the proper junction, but oh well. I'm trying to fix it. Uh, I can, it works. There you go. So once they're connected, you can then switch on the um, switch on the ESC. Now, zoom in a bit. So here we've got cutoff voltage, the auto lipo cutoff voltage as well, because this does run lipo if you need to. Next one down is the drag brake. Now, when uh, you are accelerating, you come off the accelerator and don't press the brake and you just roll. Um, it's how much the engine puts the resistance to then slow the vehicle down like a natural brake. Um, I've set mine down um, to around about 5% so it's between 0 and 10% at the moment so that's a quite a, a weak breaking but that's it doesn't really matter um, then we've got braking strength now this is when you push forward on the controller and it when you physically stop the vehicle and this is how much um, you want to stop the vehicle, so I've put my own round about 35-30% braking um, because I've got the transmission so I don't really need a lot of braking but that's how I've set mine to press the button again punch control, now punch control is how much um, how much power you want when you pull the trigger and um, I just stick, stick on 100 to see what happens at the moment and then this is how you select your reverse and your braking um, setup. So people have different um, different uh, ways they want to use the controller. I've put mine so when you push the controller um, stick forward, um, it brakes first and then it goes into reverse. So I've set as that. Uh, brushless type, uh, brushless is um, a brushless sensor motor in there. So you set it to the green and then down here timing I'm not really too sure about timing so I'm leaving that alone but when you want to change um, the percentage of the actual um, braking strength or anything like that you go down we we'll say you punch control and you the bottom here the button I've been using to, to click to go down the settings you hold it it goes across on whatever setting you pick you can select, you know, so that's 50%, 60, 75, 80, 
90, 100. Then you've got 100% um, control, and then it's got the same for others. You can do the same again, hold, goes across, then let go on the one you want. And it's literally that straightforward and simple. Um, there's no big panic. I thought it was a big panic having a programming card, but it really isn't, especially with this one. It's dead simple. Um, and once you um, are finished setting uh, all the settings you want on your programming cards, you simply just switch off the ESC, unplug the cable, put this back in the channel. So this is channel two, which is that one there. Oh, jeez. And then this is channel one, steering is channel one. Now, it's all plugged in. I will get the controller. Ooh, oh, knee fell over. So, so we got the controller now. Um, first things, switch the controller on. So it's all ready to go, and then you literally back. It should make a noise. Yep. All good. So, literally straightforward, guys. How to use a um, programming card. Um, I got this off eBay for around about 60 quid, wasn't too bad, brand new, and it's a 4370kV brushless motor, that's pretty damn good. Um, so I recommend this motor, especially the V2, um, as you can see, the, I'm not sure if you can see, uh, there it says V2, um, get the version 2 version, yeah, because it's a bit better built, uh, better quality, yes it's waterproof. Um, well, so far it's waterproof, i found, but if you do have any problems, I genuinely don't know, because it hasn't gone wrong yet, so I don't know, but um, it's a really good motor, I really do stick by this motor, it's generally, and it's so free to actually um, set up your own self, it's so um, open to any setup you want, really, um, but yes, um, thank you guys for watching as always. Um, keep tuned for any more videos in the upcoming future and uh, as always thank you for joining today and hope this helps and uh, see you in the next video bye for now